What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a banger of a hyper offensive team for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with a Sniper Drapion squad that also features the Sandstream Boys, Garchomp, and Tyranitar. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It goes a long way. So seriously, huge shout out to all my subscribers. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Sniper Drapion over here. This thing is an absolute beast and basically crits on every shot due to its scope buns and sniper ability. Like I just mentioned, we have the scope buns as an item, the sniper as its ability, which powers up moves if they become critical hits when attacking. So really, really good. We crit a lot with this guy and we do some big old damage. Finally, the moveset we're rocking with is Taunt, Taunt, Opposing Support Mons, Knock Off, Take Off Items, Cross Poison, and Night Slash for big stab damage. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Gyarados over here. Cannot go wrong with Gyarados in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl battles. Intimidate Pokemon, all Intimidate Pokemons work really well. We got Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance set up and protect for a fourth and final move. Intimidate as our ability, like I just mentioned, and then last but not least, the item that this thing is holding is going to be the Lumberry. So any status conditions come on to us, we're just going to Lumberry it off and get rolling from there. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be Weavile, and I love me some Weavile. One of the best control Pokemon in this game. We got the Focus Sash on him as an item, so he doesn't get hit, killed in one shot. We're also rocking a Pickpocket ability, so we can steal an item after our Focus Sash is used. And then next up is our moveset, which is simple, but super effective. We got Fake Out, Ice Punch, Throw Chop, and Ice Wind. We got Speed Control, Flinch Control, and plus this Pokemon's faster and everything, it can hit pretty hard as well. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Garchomp. Do I have to say anything about this Pokemon? One of the best Pokemon in this game. We got EQ, Dragon Claw, Protect, Swords Dance set up, rocking with the Rough Skin as its ability. I probably should have put uh, used my Sand Belt one for this one, but it's all good. We're rocking Rough Skin as its ability with the Yachi Berry as its item. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tyranitar over here. And Tyranitar is out here with the Life Orb as its item, alongside with the Sandstream ability, and then great move set of Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide. Final Pokemon for the squad is going to be our nice little special attacker. We I needed a special attacking fire Pokemon, and Rotom Heat just fit the description for this squad. We got Thunderbolt, we got Overheat, Nasty Plot, and Protect for this thing's moveset. And last but not least, we got the Levitate ability, alongside with the Mago Berry as item. Like I said, yo, hyper offensive team. All these Pokemon hit really, really hard, so hopefully we can just dominate battles and get rolling from there. But there it is, yo. Team preview. Let's hop in that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins. Rolling into battle number one, going up against a Metagross team right here that also features Togekiss, Tyranitar, Bronzong, and then last but not least, Azumarill. And then he has the Aeron over here, but I think that Pokemon was just a filler. I will be surprised if he brings that Pokemon in here, but he chose 4v4. Let's get rocking out here. Let's look to grab ourselves some win, but I might lead the Drapion and get him rolling in today's battle. Drapion is just so good. He's just so good. So, you know, we're going to lead the Drapion. We're going to get rolling out with him. Drapion does work up against the Metagross, the Togekiss, and the Bronzong. So, I'm really liking that Pokemon. So, we're going to lead him. And I might lead the Gyarados alongside with it. Do I go Gyarados alongside with it? Or I could go Rotom. Rotom isn't too bad here. Or I can go with Speed Control with Weeball. I really do like a lot of different options here. What is the plan? What is the plan? I think it's Speed Control with Weeball. We can fake out turn one. We get off some big damage there as well. So, let's go Weeball. And then next, do we want to go Garchomp Tyranitar? We could bring both of these guys, which works pretty well, but I think I'm just going to bring the Garchomp. If he wants to bring Tyranitar, who I think he's going to bring, he can bring him and kind of roll off from there, and then we'll just bring Gyarados in the back end for Intimidates. I'm digging it. I'm with it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look at grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, yo, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I don't know why. I just feel like he has a bunch of scary Pokemon. He's going to end up leading. Yo, Aaron. Yo, what? What? What is this? What is this? Level one, though. I'm confused with this thing. I'm confused with this thing. I'm definitely going to Night Slash on you. And I'm, I'm going to double down with the Fake Out. I think we just double straight down into this thing. Because Aaron, like, what's this thing going to do? I'm a little confused. He protects Aaron. I'm not attacking that thing. I'm going to let it be. Is he double protecting? He is not. So that's a huge turn for us. What is that thing going to do? That thing is scaring me. Night Slash, come out here. If we can get a crit, we can potentially just dump on this thing, which would be gorgeous. We do not get the crit. But still, big damage out there. We love it. We love it. So we make that thing flinch. Um... From here, I'm just going to go for another Night Slash. Night Slash should be able to finish that thing off. And then from here, Icy Wind should be able to take out the Aeron, right? Oh, it could be sturdy. It could be sturdy. But what is this thing going to do? That thing's kind of scaring me. That thing is definitely scaring me. Like, what is that Aeron doing? A Aeron over here. Like, I've never seen something like that before. He's going to withdraw Bronzong. Okay, he withdraws Bronzong, which I'm totally cool with. And who's he going to fly into? 
Gonna go with Tyrantar. I'm cool with Tyrantar flying out here. He's gonna drop a sand stream. We're gonna Icy Wind. We're gonna take a little bit of speed control. But I don't know, like, what's up with that arrow. Like, it seems like it's gonna do absolutely nothing, but it still scares me because I just don't know what it's gonna do. That thing just ate it with sturdy, right? Yeah, that thing's all sturdied up. He's gonna do something. What is he doing here? He's gotta have some sort of tactic. He's gotta have some sort of tactic. Let's see what happens here. Night Slash comes out here. Yay. Bill chipping up a little bit of damage there. And this thing's gonna use End of War. That's what it's here for. It's here to do that. It is here to do that. Oh my god. That combo. Nasty. Na this thing came to play. That is why. Okay, yo, I was terrified. I knew it. I knew it. He might protect this turn. He might protect this turn. Oh my god. We're gonna leave a, a Ron alone. I think that's gonna be my plan. That is exactly what he's here for. I think we're just gonna leave that Pokemon alone. I think we're just gonna say, hey, we're not gonna touch that thing till the end. A A Ron out here doing work. It's Shell is that Shell Bell A A Ron? That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I dude, I knew I was scared of it for some reason. I knew it. I know it. So you know, we're not gonna touch it. We're gonna do this, and we're just gonna we're just gonna throw a chop. We're not gonna touch it because then then he's allowed to use it anymore. So we're just gonna double down into this Tyrantar to go from there because AA round might protect you, right? He does protect. AA round does. Protect. We can double down into him next turn if I really want to. But yeah, we're gonna take out this. Uh, we should be able to take out this uh, Tyrantar right here. Ah dang, AA round, dude. <laughs> Do me dirty. Do me so dirty. But we get rid of this thing. He could go back into Bronzong. I'm kind of fine with that because I think I throw chop should be able to take it out. But yeah, we could just keep doubling down into these Pokemon. Or I could double down on a, a Ron right now. Which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards. Because he can't protect this turn. Dude, that thing is scary, dude. <laughs> I knew it was up to something. I knew it was up to something. Sturdy Shell Bell to get the HP back and end of war to take out Pokemon. That is a gorgeous combo. So he's gonna end up going into that, which I'm cool with. And uh going to the 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 I'm gonna take out AA Ron here. I'm gonna take out AA Ron. That's not fine. I'm taking out AA Ron here. I'm not dealing with him. I see one coming in hot. I'm not dealing with that thing. I'm not dealing with that thing. We'll bring it down to one. We're doubling down into that Pokemon. I'm not dealing with it, yo. Sturdy comes out. Cool, Gyarados should go next because Gyarados should be second best on the field. And we should be able to roll out here. Yeah, Aaron, get on out of my game. I'm not dealing with that thing. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it. Yo, but huge round of applause, yo. Huge round of applause for that uh, that setup with that thing. I love it. He's going to pop a trick room. I'm kind of cool with that. Uh, we have, who do we have in the back end? We have Chomp. We have Chomp in the back and he's going to have to show his final Pokemon. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping a Throw Chop could actually take out this uh, Bronzong. But Bronzong's gonna go first, and that's a little tough for us. It's a little tough for us. We'll see what he wants to do, but yo, know, solid first battle. So. He has speed control now, which is tough, and Metagross is gonna come in hot. That's a little scary. Metagross is going to come in hot, and I kinda just wanna take out this Bronzong and, and get this battle. And try to win this battle here. So yeah, I'm gonna take out Bronzong here. Bronzong. Oh, Bull Punch can fly through here. Could definitely do me dirty. But we just gotta hope that uh, we can take out this Bronzong, either my Weavile or my. Uh, or my lovely, what's it called? Oh, Rock Slide. Ooh, Rock Slide's scaring me. Okay, cool. Weavile eats, Gyarados eats. What's Metagross going for? Zen Headbutt. Can you eat this? I think you might be able to eat this. Cannot. That's tough news right there. That's scary news. But yo, I'm hoping my Weavile can take this thing out with a super effective shot. That would be gorgeous. And then we can just roll into Chomp here. Right? Sounds really good for us. Take him out. Big time KO. That's a big time KO. Okay, so now we're sitting here. We have two Pokemon that can hit this thing decently hard. We can hit this thing decently hard, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. Okay, so now we're sitting here. We'll bring out the Garchomp. And this guy is still going to be close battle. He has speed control all day. He has speed control all day. We're going to bring out the Chomp. And let's get rolling. I really want to drop an EQ. So, you know, I'm going I am going to drop an EQ. I think he takes out my what's called with a... Uh... Oh, yeah, I think he takes out my uh... my what's called regardless. He's going to drop an EQ. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, he's going to take out my Weavile regardless. Good thing we did drop an EQ. He cannot take us out in two shots, which is really, really good. And Rough Skin should chip him up here, right? He's Life Orb. And no, 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 never mind. Eki comes out. Is that KO? Does that thing live? Did he? Did, is he alive? Yo, look at look at that HP. What is that? 
What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't understand. He's on legitimately one. And it looks like he's on like half of one. That is the lowest I ever seen a bar. You can't even see the red. That's how low it is. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna EQ. Hopefully he can't one shot chaos, right? We should be fine here. EQ comes out here. Yeah, we should be able to suck that up. Beautiful. Garchomp clutches it up in that back end. He's gonna die to life orb damage. There it is, yo. GG's. We start off today's video 1 0. Let's hop to our second battle. Looks to go back to back. Yo, that boy Aaron almost did me dirty there in battle number one. I did not know what to expect until it hit that sturdy end of war right onto my Drapion. And then he pulls out the sand stream on top of that so Buffets can take out any of the Pokemon. It's a cool combo. I'm actually really glad we went up against that and I'm even more glad we were able to defeat it and grab ourselves a win there in battle number one. But hey, we're hopping into our second battle, going up against a pretty cool team. He's got Latias Spinda, who you never see, so I'm kind of scared of that thing. Uh, he's got Cradley, Heatran, Tokus, and then Weather Control with that... Uh, with that lovely little paloops over there. Pelipper. Okay, how am I going with this one? How am I playing this one? I'm really liking the Weavile. As you know, Weavile is just an absolute beast in most situations. I could also go Drapion. I really dig a Drapion here. A good old Drapion. Drapion's just type nice with it. He just plays no games whatsoever. So I kind of want to lead Drapion. But at the same time, I think he's going to lead Latias. Or La yeah, Latias, and that could be scary. So what do I want to do? I could set up a Gyarados here. Gyarados could get a nice setup here. And he's really good up against a lot of these uh, Pokemon. Let's go Gyarados. We will bring uh, Tyrantar Garchomp in the back. I am digging that. Or, you know, Rotom's looking mighty nice. He's looking mighty nice. I'll bring Rotom in the back end. And then last but not least, do we want to have some fun with this one? Go Drapion? Yeah, let's have some fun with this one. Let's have some fun with this one. Rock out with Drapion. See if we can grab ourselves some win. You guys seen plenty of the Garchomp Titar combo. So we'll leave him for the next battle. It's totally fine. It's no big deal. He's going to end up leading the Latias and the Spinda. And the Spinda is scaring me, yo. Because, like, look at that thing. It's got the, the, the crazy eyes, like the swirly eyes, the swirly ears. And I just don't know what to expect from it. I know it rocks Dizzy Punch. Such a cool Pokemon, yo. Look at him. <gasps> what is that? What did he just do? His attack grows. Oh, does he have a... Uh, oh, it has... What's it called? Controversy. That's what it's called. I'm going to fake out you. And you know what? I'm just going to go straight into a Dragon Dance. That's what I'm going to pop off into. It has... What is that? Malamar has that same ability. Where, like, if your stats are going down, they go up. And if they go up, they go down. So, it's like... I forget what it's called. Is it Controversy? Or it's something like that. I forget what it's called. But you guys know what I'm talking about. He's going to end up... Oh, protecting Latias. That's a beautiful term for us. That's a lovely term for us. Because we're going to fake out the Spinda. We're going to fake that thing out. And we set up a free Dragon Ants. Mwah. We love it. We love it, yo. That's a solid term for us. That's a huge term for us. Now I can take out the Spinda. And I can drop an Ice Punch right into that uh, Latias. Huge turn for us. Ice punch coming in hot. And I'm just going to waterfall straight across into the spinda. Yo, huge turn for us. What a start, yo. We make some good plays. We make some good plays over here on the Jeans channel. That deserves, that deserves a sub. If you guys aren't subbed already, hit that subscribe button. Yo, join the community. We got tons of content coming to you guys' way. And I got a huge announcement coming out soon uh, with affiliations and sponsorships. But yo, look at that turn. That's a gorgeous turn. Now we can Icy Wind take that thing out, no problem. He's going to drop a Thunderbolt, and that's probably going to take us out. Four times super effective. Yeah, but still, I'll take that turn all day. We take out the Spinda. We pretty much take out the Latias. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Now I should bring out Drapion, right? I am digging a nice little Drapion action here. I am digging Drapion here. Do I throw him out here? Yeah, yo, Drapion rocks. Yo, I love Drapion. He's such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. Drapion gets flying out here. My dude. And he's going to also throw out Pelipper. Okay, so Pelipper gets flying on out here. I'm just going to Icy Wind take Speed Control, and I'm going to hit hard onto that Pelipper slot. That's cool, because Icy Wind should be able to just uh, take out that, uh, that Latias, no problem. So Icy Wind, Speed Control, and then we can just go for a Cross Poison. We can go Cross Poison, or we can go Night Slash. What would be better for us? I think they're basically the same. Critical hits land more easily. Critical hits land more easily. Plus, we can Poison Target. I'm with the cross poison all day. They're both stabbed. They're both 70 base power. They both have the same effect. Just this one can poison. So I'd rather go for it. Let's do it. And hopefully we get a crit. Cause dude, once you get a crit with this thing with scope lens, it's GG's. It does so much more damage due to the sniper ability. It's just huge damage all around. But if we can land a crit here, it's it's over with. Because we'll take out the Latias alongside with the with the lovely little Paloops. Yo, we're thriving in BDSP battles. I always do so good in these battles. I always do so good. 
It's just, it's much simpler than Sword and Shield. Like, Sword and Shield it makes you think a lot. Because there's so many more options you can go with. Because they can go with Dynamax booster stats. They can not Dynamax. Like, there's just so many different options. Like, playing with Dynamax format. It's just crazy. It is crazy. But, uh, we're going to drop an Icy Wind here. Let's say bye-bye, Latias. Get on out my game. We don't want you here, right? Cool. What? Yo, what? It ate that? It ate that? Yo, no. Yo, that's whack. That is whack. That is whack that it just ate that. That is whack, yo. Everything's living on one today. And we don't get a crit. Give me a poison. Oh, God, dude. Oh, come on, man. He's going to Drake a Meteor us. That's fine. Whatever. Cool. We eat that up. We have a focus sash anyway. Like, what is that, though? Thing, thing lives on half of one. And Hurricane's going to pop out here, which we should be able to soak. Cool. We soak. Do not duck me. Cool. No ducks. Icy Wind should be able to take him out now, right? Yes. Icy Wind should be able to do that. And I'm going to go for another cross poison. Going for it. Same thing. Same thing. We just mashed egg. We just mashed egg. We should be fine here. He could protect. He could protect and get a little bit more HP back. And if that's the case, I'll ice punch him next turn. But that 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 is whack right there. He survives on half of one, dude. The Metagross did that last turn. He ends up protecting. That's totally fine. I'm gonna bank on a crit here, dude. We are so due for a critical hit here. With my boy Drapion. It's ridiculous how how due we are. You're so due. We are so due. Get a crit here. Get a crit here, Drapion. I didn't bring you in here for nothing. Cross poison comes out here. Yo, can you, why can't you get a crit, dude? Now he surfs and he picks up the double kill? No, I think Drapion should be able to eat. Actually, with the plus weather boost, that could do me dirty. Drapion, eat this. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're going to end up losing this battle? What you mean? What you mean? I might have to take a rematch with this guy. I might have to take a rematch with this guy because I feel like we should have won this battle. Okay, uh, who's our last Pokemon? No double hitting moves. Oh, God. Does he protect the Pelipper here? I feel like he protects the Pelipper here. But Pelipper just poses such a big threat. Right? Pelipper just poses such a big threat. I gotta go after Pelipper. I feel like he protects it, though. Please don't protect the Pelipper. He's, he's gonna protect the Pelper. I should have went after Latias, right? I should have went after Latias. Nope. Drink him in your five three. That's easy soaks though. He's already minus two. It's easy soaks, right? We sold the Mago Berry, which is good. And can my Rotom outspeed that? Outspeed that Pelper? Because my plan here is to not worry about that Latias. It's minus four now. We still have a Mago Berry in the back. And just target down his last Pokemon. So Pelper goes down here. I'm gonna try to keep my boy alive. I'm gonna try to keep my boy alive, thriving. Whatever you want to call it. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hopefully he outspeeds whatever Pokemon it is. I'm gonna throw out his final mind. It's going to be ooh, the one Pokemon that does this really dirty. I'm gonna have the nasty bot here. Actually, how many turns left in rain? I'm gonna protect this turn and just see how this one goes. I am just gonna protect. Nah, we're trying to waste out these rain turns so my overheat can do more damage. Mega Meteor comes in here. We block. And what's this thing going for? Rock Slide, maybe? Ancient Power. Okay. We block. That is still scary. Can Rain end? We need Rain to end. We need Rain to end. I was going to Nasty Pot this turn, too. Nasty Pot would have been good. But we got to go for Thunderbolt here. Let's try to take this thing out. God dang it, dude. I really do. The Rain's doing me dirty. We definitely lost the battle. Dude, if we would have actually brought in Garchomp here, it would have been good. Or Tyrantar. Tyrantar would have been money here. But he's going to drop a Draco Meteor. We soak. Hopefully we outspeed that Cradle And maybe we can take this thing out. I don't think we're going to be able to take it out with Thunderbolt. I'm hoping. Thunderbolt comes through. Yeah, I'll eat. send it. So close yet so far. So close yet so far. And Ancient Power is going to fly through here. Leave me alone, dude. And just stab. And we eat. But the Mago Berry is going to come out here. And we need Rain to end. And of course he gets all the stat boost. What is this? The RNG for this guy. This guy's loving it. This guy's loving it. We eat the Mago Berry. I'm trying to think of a way that we can win this battle. And it would be like an overheat crit, right? If rain stops now. But I, again, you can't check how many turns left in rain and such. Which kind of stinks. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go for a Thunderbolt here. Like, oh, I should have protected. But still, Thunderbolt wouldn't be able to take out this uh, Latias after this. We're going to meter five three. He's minus six. How much damage is this really going to do? But Ancient Power is going to take us out, right? Well, I actually did a lot more than I thought it would. Thunderbolt comes through. Can you can you miss an H power, please? 
Any miss? We take this thing out. Hold up. Wait a minute. We're looking for this. Yo, please miss this thing, because then I can protect him and waste out the last turn of rain. Inch Powder comes in. Yeah, that's GG. So you got stab boosted. Dang, dude. Dang, dang, dang. What a solid battle. We end up losing our second one. You guys know to deal with the third one. We're gonna, we gotta hop in there and grab ourselves a winning record. Let's try to end today's video on a high note with a victory here in battle number three. And our opponent's team's looking really strong. He's got Ambipom for speed control or flinch control. And then he also has Gastrodon, Abomasnow, and Twerkle for weather control. And then Gallade Cresselia. Gallade and Cresselia. Okay, I definitely want to go on the Weavile. I got to take some sort of speed control and kind of roll from there. I kind of want to lead the Drapion because Drapion could just be good. But alongside, Gyarados could be really strong here as well. I'm kind of digging the Gyarados. Gyarados can just do a lot of different work. So, you know, I'm going to bring in the Gyarados, and then we're going to go Tyranitar for weather control. And then I'm thinking Garchomp or even Drapion here could be good, because Drapion can counter up on that Cresselia, which is lovely. Which is just lovely. So, I'm kind of leaning towards that. Yeah, I'm with it all day. Actually, we do already have the Tyranitar with Crunch, right? We have Crunch on this thing, right? Yeah, we're Rock Crunch, so we might as well go in the Garchomp here. Let's rock in the Garchomp. Let's grab ourselves this win. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Yeah, I wanted to go in the Drapion for the Cresselia combo, but then I was just like, yo, we got Crunch on Tyranitar. It's Stab. He's Dark type. We we can use, we we don't need Drapion. We don't need him, even though Drapion's fun to use. He's fun to use, and he couldn't get a crit from me. So we're gonna put him on the bench for today, for the third battle. He could not get a crit from me, which was kind of whack. He's gonna go into Ambipom, and I wonder who's faster, Ambipom or Weavile. I know Ambipom's super fast, but I think Weavile's a bit faster. So what's called has Steadfast, which is kind of scary. The Gallade. So, you know, we're going to pick out the Ambipom and we're going to go for a, uh, we're going to go for a Dragon Dance setup here. I think Dragon Dance can work really well in our favor here. So we're going to Dragon Dance setup. We're going to go for the Flinch on the Ambipom and hopefully Weavile outspeeds. It, I think it does, but yo, know, I, I do not know for sure because Ambipom is super fast as well. But I believe Weavile is like one of the only Pokemon that's faster than Ambipom. We, I guess we'll find out now. I guess we will find out now. And if I had to guess, Gallade's probably just going for like a fighting move into Weavile. Maybe like a mock punch, something along those lines. Close combat, I know it rocks. We'll see. He has Intimidate, which is awesome, but good to know. We've all outspeeds. That's some decent damage onto the Ambipom, and we flinch him, which is cool. And we already outspeed the Glade, even without the plus one on Dragon Dance. So we Dragon Dance set up, which is gorgeous, and I wonder what Glade's going for. Glade, what are you doing, kind sir? Glade's going for close combat. That's totally fine. We have Focus Ash. That drops his defense. I really do like that turn. I really like that turn. I really like that. The Focus Ash comes out here. That thing's defense is down in the dumps. And now I can actually hit that Glade. And I can take out Ambipom at the same time. And we pickpocket. And we take his Lumberry. We say, hey, yo, your Lumberry's gone. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Who do I want to hit up here? I don't want to Ice Punch on you. And then I kind of just want a Waterfall. I'm with this turn all day. Because Waterfall should just be able to dump on this Ambipom. And then we should have uh, complete speed control with this battle right here. Yep, Gary just goes first. We're going to say bye-bye to Ambipom. Amy Palm, get on out of my face. That's how you deal with Amy Palms. I know when I use Amy Palm, I make it look easy sometimes because Amy Palm is such a beast. But that's how you deal with Amy Palms right there. Get it out of there. That thing's defense is down. And we get the freeze. We love it. We love it, dude. Awesome. 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 Finally, yo, after that last battle or first and second battle where our opponents lived on like half HP, we get a little bit of RNG luck with a freeze. Good old freeze coming out. You love to see it. So we're just going to Ice Punch into you. And you know what? I'm just going to Ice Fang into you. I'm going to drop a nice little Ice Fang. Ice Fang, because you know, so we, we're not dealing with that Storm Drain. We know you're rocking it. We know you're rocking that Storm Drain. But Gastron is not rocking it. So we'll go into an Ice Fang. We'll chip up with some decent damage here. Should be able to do like half, right? No, a little bit less. Wow. Ice Punch flies through here. We're going to say bye bye to Glade. We'll tell it to get on out of here. And if I was smart, which I'm not, I probably should have went into that Gastron. Blizzard comes out here. And that's going to take out my Weavile, which is totally fine. We've all got its work done. Gyarados doesn't take a hit. Gyarados is going to be able to just clean up this battle really, really well. So he does that. I kind of want to go into T-Tar here. Right? T-Tar would be cool. Or do I go into Garchomp? Let's go into T-Tar, yo. Let's go into T-Tar. Get a little bit of T-Tar loving out here. T-Tar, baby. Yeah, yeah. I love Tyranitar, yo. His rock slides hit like trucks. They hit like trucks. He's going to go Bombastone. Please, oh no, he gets weather control. That's whack. Out of my face. Don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. He gets the snow warning off. Uh, dang. Don't like that one bit. And then we can just drop a rock slide, which is gorgeous here. And then I'm just gonna Ice Fang right in the air. Ice Fang and rock slides, my play. I think Tyranitar might be able to outspeed that Obama snow. Maybe, maybe not. Gonna be cutting it close. I know it can outspeed the Gastron, but we Ice Fang there. 
And Rock Slide, we do outspeed. Beautiful. So we outspeed. Can we take out anybody? We bring that thing down to Sash, which is gorgeous. And we can roll off from there. That's pretty much GG's. Because I can bring out what's called at any time. Guard Chop at any time and just EQ. Aurora Veil. This thing sets up a Veil. A Veil! Wait a second. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But I think it's a little late for the Aurora Veil. Was just going to fly through here. You guys should both be able to eat that up, right? Yeah, all day. No freezes? Oh, come on, yo. There's one. Do not give the, do not give him the double freeze. That'd be, that'd be insane. If he got double freeze, that'd be actually really cool. I'd give him mad props. I would give him mad props for that. Yeah, Buffets are flying. We can pretty much take out whoever we want here. And I feel like we're going to take out the Gastron. We'll take out Gastro. We shall take out Gastro. But, hey, yo. RNG freeze, it canceled out. We, get, we got a freeze... On him, he gets a freeze on us. It evens out. It's all good. It's all good. So it's not like RNG just totally won me the battle. Because he got some too. He got some too with that freeze. Yo, everybody's freezing out here. Everybody's freezing out here. But yo, this battle's pretty much over. Your boy's grabbing yourselves another winning record. Like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button. Your boy's been winning in BDSP left and right. And we've been doing good in Sword and Shield. So you guys should definitely sub up. Sub up, sub up, sub up. And yo, that Ice Shard did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Ice Fang comes out here. We tell Gastron to go home, and my boy t is going to unthaw out here. Watch him. Watch how good he is. He's so good. Look at him. Nah, dude, he ain't that good. <laughs> he ain't that good. He stays frozen. And this guy, this battle's over. He should just cancel. He's going to go for another Ice Shard. My Gyarados can eat it up. Unless he gets a crit. But either way, he just has to deal with the guard chop in the back. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Just cancel the battle. There it is. Battle was canceled. Grab, her grab herself another winning record for BDSP. The hyper offensive sniper Drapion team prevails for you guys. We grab ourselves another winning record in BDSP, and we have ourselves a great set of battles in today's video. Two and one, gotta love it. Can't go wrong with that. Drapion showcase today, really, really good. Really, really strong Pokemon. Got a lot of work done, but he did not crit a lot, which I'm kind of upset at. We also have that Gyarados, which always shows up. Always shows up every single time. Easy to set up with the Weavile combo. We use that in multiple battles. Then we have the Garchomp, Titar, and Rotom all there for big heavy attacking pokemon but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody